Hey guys, Fortnite here, and welcome to episode three of Undertale. So, I'm enjoying it so far. Um, I can tell that there's going to be a lot of story coming up, but this is kind of like the tutorial phase, and the tutorial phase took up the first two episodes, at least. Um, so, I'm hoping we're getting into the meat of the game right now, so uh, we'll see in this video. But, um, right here, item. So, toy knife. Okay. Exit and exit. Okay. Do you smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. Well, that choice of the butterscotch and cinnamon didn't really matter, unless possibly if the game creator made it so that cinnamon was first and then butterscotch was second. That's the only thing that I can see. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. Cool. I want you to have a nice time living here, so I will hold off a hold off a snail pie for tonight. Great, that sounds that sounds delicious. Snail. Here, I have another surprise for you. I'm gonna go this way. Inside is an old calendar from from the beginning of twenty one X. Twenty. It, uh, X team. There we go. Um, these books ha are worn. They have been read many times. Why head downstairs? Yeah, I'll go there later. <laughs> oh, hi there, Toriel. You're right in my face. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. Oh, I think I might have seen screenshots of this. Oh, flower. A box of kids' shoes in, in a disparity of sizes. Where'd you get the shoes from? Music changes. The empty photo frame. It's really dusty. Yeah. Sleep. Found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Cool. Look at these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. They're cool, but they aren't interesting at all. <laughs> okay. I'm assuming Toriel's room? It's Toriel's diary. Read the circle of passage. Now, I'm going to find out about Toriel a little bit first. Definitely bigger than a twin size bed. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean planets. You open to the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods. Known more commonly as water sausages. Are th is that talking about um, cattails? I'm pretty sure that those are cattails. You peek inside. Scandalous. It's Toriel's sock drawer. <laughs> uh, the cactus, truly the most sundir of plants. Um, yeah. Okay. You know what? I want to read that passage. Yes. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? because she was feeling lonely. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of similar caliber. Laughing? Mir, it's you. It's me? Really? Are these water sausages? Oh, it's a water sausage. Yeah, cattails. Inside the drawer are flower seats and some broken crayons. Okay. Room under renovations. Okay. Well, I want to head downstairs, but I think I should check out the main floor first. Oh, hi there, Toriel. It's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped beneath 
behind the barrier and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named Home. As great as our king is, he's pretty lousy at names. <laughs> Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared our curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I've always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps this isn't very surprising. Still, I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Nothing. When can I go? Nothing. For some reason, there is a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. Now, what brand name could it be? Hmm. Couldn't start with an H, could it? Hmm. Uh, there's some white fur stuck in the drain. Toria. Uh, inside the cupboard are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. The size of a pint uh, intimidates you too much for you to eat it, okay? Uh, the stovetop is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. How could I just determine that? How do I even know if there's magic? I mean, I guess the monsters were sealed off with magic spell. Can't check out the fire for whatever reason. It's the basement. Oh, my back. It's so stiff. Yeah, I'm gonna to talk tutorial first. <laughs> that that I like this nice cheerful music. Yeah, it is called somebody to you uses for snails. You like snails? How about it? Sure. Here's an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails make terrible shoelaces? Interesting. Yeah. Well, bother me if you need anything else. What is it? Oh, to exit the ruins. I have to do something. Stay here. You know, for it being 8-bit graphics, um, it's actually really good animations. Toriel, why'd you run? Toriel? Toriel? I'm scared that Toriel. Hmm. Did Toriel go to the basement? We should know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins, a one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Toriel! Toriel! Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child. If you leave the ruins, they... A score will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do, you. do you understand? Go to your room. Here, I'll go to my room. And I'll take a little nappy new. Plenty of time for Toriel to destroy. I took a nap. Toriel should have destroyed the end by now, right? If not, God, it takes a long time in order to destroy the end of a tunnel. Do not try to stop me. 
This is your final warning. Toriel. You want to leave so badly. Hmm. You are just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Toriel blocks the way. Okay. Oh god. That was best for you. Here's a magical attack. Oh god. Yeah, there's there's no way. Spider done it. Oh, your HP was maxed out. <laughs> I'm never going to beat Toria. Ah, shoot. Oh god. Okay, this battle I'm leaving in because it's a little bit more difficult. Item. Uh, uh, pie. Oh god. Huh. I'm not three hundred forty three. Look, you are stronger than I thought. Listen to me, small one. If you go beyond this door, keep walking as far as you can. Eventually, you will reach an exit. Asgore, do not let Asgore take you. Take your soul. His plan cannot be allowed to succeed. I'm assuming he's like the king and he's like turned bad or whatever. Be good, won't you? My child? Yeah, I was expecting that. No! Toriel! No! 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 Ugh. Can I turn back? Yeah, I can. Okay. Toriel was just trying to protect me. Keep going. Just keep going. Just keep going. Just keep going. That's what I was told. Just keep going. I hope you like your choice. After all, 
It's not as if you can go back and change fate. In this world, it's kill or be killed. That old hag thought she could break the rules. She tried so hard to save you humans, but when it came down to it, he he he, all flowy. She couldn't even save herself. What an idiot. Flowey's not nice. Undertale. Just gotta like throw it in your face and be like, Undertale by Toby Fox. Cool. I like it so far, Toby. Toby will probably never see this video, but eh, whatever. There's a camera hidden in the bushes. Stick. It's a tough looking branch. It's too heavy to pick up. Um, there is somebody here. Oh, I, yep, I saw it. Who are you? Leave me alone. Human. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. Big cushion in the hand trick. Okay, it's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? Every single one of the letters coming across sounds like him laughing. So this is Sans, I think? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now, but you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus. He's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Quick, find that conveniently shaped lamp. Oh, oh great. Sup, bro. <laughs> conveniently shaped lamp. Nice. You know what, sup, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp, it's really cool. Do you want to look? <laughs> no, I don't have time for that. <laughs> I like them already. <laughs> what if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. <laughs> I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then, I, the great papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect, recognition, I will finally be able to join the royal guard. People ask to be my friend. I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. <laughs> Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans, you are not helping, you lazy bones. Ha! Ah, puns, bones, skeletons. Anyways, uh, all you do is sit in boondoggle. You get lazier and lazier every day. <laughs> Take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. <laughs> a skeleton. <laughs> uh, okay, Sans. Come on, you're smiling. I am and I hate it. <laughs> Why does someone as great as me have to do so much to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself. Okay, so Papyrus is the one who's like yelling or at the very least, it's like 
over exaggerating his speech to make himself sound important. And then Sans is just like, bro, I'm gonna make you laugh. I'm gonna just like tell jokes all day, every day. Us tacky ate him tack. Um down to the bone. Ugh. I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Great. Okay, you can come out now. You gotta get going. He might come back. And if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. Some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. But there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. Hmm. Huh, I wonder what it is. Like a concession or something? Yeah. Just a conveniently shaped lamp. Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking. My brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous, even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. Wait! You went back and somehow you're gonna be up ahead? Okay, fine, whatever. Oh, save point. Okay. The, con conven the convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. Yay. So, I'm gonna end this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a comment down below and give this video a like if you enjoyed the, con uh, the content within this video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!